we're recording. You're listening to the Tune Up and Jam podcast. Ready? Go. You're listening to episode number 38 of the Tune Up and Jam podcast. Tune Up and Jam. All right, tune up, turn up, get down, and start jamming. Welcome and Nyabzu, Francis. Nyabzu. Yeah, that is a, a greeting in Hmong, the Hmong language. It, means, Hmong. it actually means good evening or good afternoon or good, good morning, any of those. It's kind of like a... Can I ask you a question? Mark? Yeah. How do you, are you saying it correctly? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It, and <laughs> I can only do my best here. Uh, no, I, I just I was wondering about your frame of reference. That's all. No, I I you know I don't know. I'm okay. just trying. I'm trying my best. Cool, cool. It's N Y O B Z O O. All right. Anyway, we're at uh, episode 38 of the Tune Up and Jam podcast, and today I think we have a really special treat. Uh, we have a friend of ours who's been a longtime friend. Her name is Andrea Kolb, and she was here with her friend Elwood. And what's special about Andrea, especially, is that she is a super fan of a particular group named Mo. And uh, you're going to find out as you listen just what we mean by super group. But, um, super fan. <laughs> super fan. What was I saying? Super group? Yeah, it's okay. It's okay, yeah. Well, she's a super group too. She's fun. Yeah. Um, you, I hope, I think you're going to have as much fun listening as we had. Uh, if you have as much fun listening as we had speaking – you're going to have a good time. Did I that even so. make any sense? I get it. Yeah, you get it, right? Get it. If you even have half as much fun, is what I meant to say, as we had while, while she was here, uh, it's going to be good. So I think this is one of the one of the better episodes we've done in a long time. It was just a lot of fun. You're going to find out, you know, we, we were trying to come from a different angle with uh, a fan rather than a musician, and I think we really hit the nail on the head with this one. It's yeah, you know... On our website, if you go to our website, tuneupandjam.com, it says, Connecting, Educating, and Promoting Musicians, Music Makers, and Music Supporters. Without a doubt, Andrea and Elwood are, are music supporters yeah. of, a, of the highest level. Yes. <laughs> and, and you know, the, uh, this, the camaraderie between them and representing the community that they, uh, of the music community of, of music supporters of their particular uh, band of interest is uh, it's obvious there. It's obviously there. And it's kind of contagious, and you have a lot of fun with it. And you can tell, you can see why they do what they do, and it's a lot of fun. And uh, I hope everybody enjoys it. I think they will. All right, take a listen. Yep, <laughs> we're here with Andrea Kolb. Yay! Not Cobb, <laughs> like that guy who plays football. It's Kolb, as in K-O-L-B, and pronounced properly, right, Andrea? Correct. And the reason we have Andrea here. Is because she is something of a, a super fan. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and uh, we haven't had anybody on like Andrea quite just yet. <laughs> but she <laughs> or will ever again. Or will ever again. That's right. <laughs> but that's, that's why she's unique and that's why we love her. She is actually <laughs> longtime friends of all of ours, but we haven't seen each other for a long time. Too long. I didn't even know Andrea had a last name. I thought she was like she was Prince, just like Madonna, <laughs> Andrea. It's JJ. Like, JJ. Yeah. JJ. Well, there you go. There's another one, JJ. We didn't know she was JJ. Um, but uh, the reason we have her on is because she's a super fan. She's not a musician. She's the first, I think, non-musician that we've had on for, a, for an episode uh, because we always talk about musician stuff and from the angle of the musician or you know, artists on to play some songs or whatever. But this time we wanted to talk to Andrea about being a fan of music. So I think we'll, before we get into the real reason you're here of <laughs> being a moron and everything. <laughs> what if I not know <laughs> what's going to happen this evening? Well, I mean, we wanted to focus on, on, on the super fan part. But, I mean, I think we wanted to kind of just back up and talk about your experiences in general as a concert goer um you know basically like you know what was your first concert my first concert was the police in i think it was 82 maybe 83 the synchronicity tour at hollywood park racetrack and uh i went with my friend's mom and she thought she was the oldest person there 
<laughs> Your friend's mom thought she was the yes, oldest person. Yes, and she forbade us from calling her mom. We had to call her by her name. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so she wouldn't feel so old. <laughs> and nice. so that was your first ever concert. Yes. That's the first thing. And, and yeah, from I think I was in junior high. Okay, and at that point, were you like kind of like, I like this live music stuff? Yeah. Or was it just kind of... I don't think I really got it right away. I always liked music, um, but I... I don't know that I got the bug for live music right away. I think the first band that I saw every time they came to town was Aerosmith <laughs> up until the permanent vacation tour. So what was the first time you saw Aerosmith? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but it was after 1982 Synchronicity yes, Tour. Yes. So somewhere At between some there. Point. Well, we could probably narrow but it down. Probably shortly thereafter. Because I, yeah, I don't know what album it was. Well, my first one. Maybe with did you see them with Run DMC? Don't think so. That probably wasn't really. A, I, I don't didn't know if really they actually rem- toured though. I know. didn't really remember stuff that well. <laughs> <laughs> from that. There may be reasons for that, but we don't need to talk <laughs> about that. Yet. <laughs> not, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> oh, not yet. <laughs> yeah, oh, we're yeah, not in that just phase it was yet. A long time we're ago. not in that phase yet. Yeah, okay. that's just because it was a long. <laughs> time oh, there's ago. that reason. That, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so we got Aerosmith every year. So approximately how many times then would you have said that you saw Aerosmith? I'm going to guess I saw them maybe five or six times. Okay. So which th- was a big deal. Yeah, they said they would probably come around like once a year or so, right. once every nine months and right. play. I guess in L.A. maybe they'd maybe play a little a more often yeah, than I don't Pittsburgh, know. where I used <laughs> right. to live. They would come like once every three years. So that's like. that's kind of like... To a super fan, you go five, six times. You go, oh, that's that's not it. Have you ever seen? Well, a, band? a lot of a lot to a lot of people, they're like, "Wow, you saw the same band six times." Right, well, that's what I was going to well, say. Yeah, I'm wondering, crazy. have you ever seen a band five or six times? I have seen. I think the most I've ever seen a band. Let me think. Um, I saw Iron Maiden. I think the most. I think I've seen them five times, and I saw Metallica four times. Um, I don't think I've seen a. Uh, I don't think I've seen a band more than like five or six times. No. Maybe. But I would say, like, I'm comfortable with having yeah. seen them yeah. that many times, and I'm okay if I don't. Right. I mean, I would like to see Iron Maiden again. Right. Because it's been a long time since I've seen them. But if I don't, I'm okay with that. Like, right. uh, you know, I, I, I consider myself having seen them a lot of times, generally. And, and I love them still, you know. Right. But, yeah. Okay, so let's get back to that. So, right. so, so five or six Aerosmith shows. Right. Okay, and then during that time... You obviously probably had started to see other shows too. Probably, <laughs> <laughs> but is that is that time thing again? Where? <laughs> yeah, I don't think we should talk about like my my concert going. No, over I mean, the we, year. yeah, just <laughs> <laughs> just trying to establish that you you really got into going like to live music, shows. You yeah. like music and you like to go to shows, and uh, probably I mean there's you know the scene of going right. to a show and the people when, and, uh, but i'm curious yeah. also like like when you got into aerosmith when did it die for you for aerosmith when was <laughs> it like oh they <laughs> jumped well, the after shark after permanent, permanent vacation because vacation. Vacation. Yeah. Yeah. then they started to suck oh, oh, what what, what <laughs> album was it? i mean what was on that album what song was that the <laughs> one uh, love in an elevator no no that was the one before was that, that? that was, oh, was pump pump was the one that i didn't like okay. um uh there's the one about uh the one with the with his daughter and um, what's her name in that video? I don't want to miss a thing. Don't want to miss a thing. I don't think so. I don't is know. Is that when it went Maybe. south or was I it don't before know. that? I'll have to look. It had to have been before that. That was like the the big movie. What was that movie where they went on the asteroid, blew it up? What? Oh, Armageddon. Bad it. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Armageddon. Yeah. That that was the whole song for Armageddon, right? So that, it was before that. But it was pre. Yeah. It was it was post Run DMC when they were in the video. Oh for, yeah. Uh, yes, I don't know. Walk this way. It, it was after well, that. It must have been after. Well, I, know I didn't walk see this the way. They were in a video at Run DMC, but that was like '84. Yeah. Was that? No, no, no. What? No, that was like '88. Yeah, no. '86. '86. Maybe '86. We'll split the difference. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, well, the, the Run DMC. Well, the, because it was a Run DMC song. That they just, but they sampled. Yeah, they yeah. sampled, yeah. and then they 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 did that video with them. Well, they, right, they you actually jumped through the TV. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I want to get. I'd say a maybe post, it was eighty six, eighty seven. Then a post edit Francis on this right here, Francis Q. Post edit now, Bink. Where you say the year? Nineteen eighty six. All right, thank you, Francis. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised you knew oh, that. Yeah, That's really impressive. I know. Wow. That's really impressive. You no, knew that off the top of your head. I, actually, I, I didn't, but. <laughs> and I just got to say, Thanks, I Francis. was right again. <laughs> By the way, we didn't introduce Elwood. Elwood is, is Andrea's friend. He's here as well. 
He's a um, he's a moron. He'll too. be he'll yes. be pi- piping in on his experiences as well. So oh, the he's term, a piper. but we're, yeah, he's a piper. <laughs> <laughs> the term the term moron is that like an affectionate term that you yes. use with each other? Yes, please. Okay. Right. What? I, was yeah. like, I was looking at Rich when he first said it like, oh, that's not a way to endear yeah. yourself to the guests. Here's a funny anecdote. The so there's this other band that I like a lot, Psycho Stick. They're mm-hmm. a comedy metal band. You yes. two have seen them. Yeah, we're with yeah. you. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so they have a song called The Dumb Song. It's like you're dumb because this and that and the other. So their fan group is called The Dumb. So I realized at one point, like my two defining like fandoms, I'm I'm a dummy and a moron, <laughs> and nice. that's fine. <laughs> that goes right on the top of the letterhead, right? <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> okay, all right. So we've established quickly right. that you like to go see live music, and I you have that. a history and yeah. uh, of of building up to you know seeing live shows. Right. Now let's get to why you're here. Okay. Okay. What what have I done? What have you done? <laughs> um, there, for people who may be listening, uh, there's a band from New York, I believe Buffalo. Yes, that's where they're from. That's correct. Named Mo, and um, with a dot and a lowercase M. Damn it! All lowercase M. <laughs> Damn it! Oh, e. Period. period or is it dot? I want to get it's it right. Dot, actually, okay, it's yeah. not. It's not a period. It's Mo a dot. dot. Okay, there's Mo there's dot. <laughs> there's uh, some. Not uh, that's not a hundred percent sure, but I am sure it's a dot. Okay, yeah. we're gonna listen to you. <laughs> we're gonna call you the authority here. Um, so there's this band from New York. They're they're a, they're a jam band. But I um, like them anyway. <laughs> <laughs> because, <laughs> so you mean you typically don't enjoy? Jam they are bands. the only jam band that I like. Okay. Um, wow. So they've been around what since the early nineties, late nineties? Yeah. Uh, like early early like 90s or 80s. late 80s, late 80s. Yeah. okay late 80s. so can i say this part yeah you you're like no shut up <laughs> we didn't get you we here didn't to get talk you. <laughs> <laughs> so i i did I, I did have a huge hippie phase where i got into i saw the grateful dead a couple times several times i couldn't tell you how many maybe 10 maybe 15 um with jerry um <laughs> and i loved it it was an amazing scene like People were so nice. Like I, I, a lot of my quote unquote growing up (laughs) happened there because I'm (laughs) not really very grown up. Um, But uh, how do you remember this anyway? You couldn't (laughs) remember the other stuff. (laughs) Now you can remember all the dead stuff. (laughs) It's ironic. I did say them not on drugs once. (laughs) It was not very good. Anyway. um, But so I I was in all this hippie stuff, and then I found hardcore stuff like Primus, which is the second most band that I've seen. Is that right? Yes. Okay, we're going to talk about that, too, then. High five. Yep. We're going to talk about that. (laughs) So my first hardcore show was Primus and Fishbone, and then I never really went back to the hippie stuff, so that's why I don't like jam. So Okay, so that's why you (laughs) say like there's like an asterisk with Mo, because that's the one you brought along with you, but otherwise you'd be seen at a Fishbone or a Primus. or Right. Like a lot of people got into Fish before they got into Mo, and that was like how they found Mo. I skipped that whole part. Yeah. (laughs) I found Mo because a really good friend of mine had met them uh, when they were in the Bay Area, and the guitarist had broken a string, and he happened to be playing his good guitar outside the Tower Records, which used to be a thing, children. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> so he met them and met their crew and uh, saw them a lot. And so he took me into my first show in September of 98 at the House of Blues, Hollywood, rest in peace. <laughs> and uh, I didn't love them that much. I but they also didn't have their percussionist. <laughs> He's my favorite. That would be Jim. His name's Jim Lachlan. <laughs> I did meet him. You played with him. Yeah. Well, because of you. Right. <laughs> because of knowing you, I, I met him and played with him. Right. Yeah. yeah. But nice. we, yeah. So, so Okay. It, so it, your first show was in Hollywood. Right. Because your friend told you about them and took you there. And right. you didn't like them at first. I didn't not like them, but I liked the uh, the opening band better, which was the Ominous Sea Pods. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, Another so th- upstate New York yes. band okay. from the same era. Pretty jammy. Yeah. So they were on tour together yeah. or whatever. Yeah. And that was, I, w- I still wasn't far out of my hippie phase, so they still appealed to me. <laughs> <laughs> 
but Mo didn't necessarily. <laughs> they were okay, but they weren't my favorite. Uh-huh. So I would go again, like when they would come to town. But okay, so what brought you back then? If the, if it didn't really hit you that hard, you know, the first time. Because like, this friend than... of mine was a really close friend, and every time they would come to town, we would go and see him. Because he knew them. Just because, right? It's just because I mean, or like, he kind of knew them, right? Exactly. Okay. Okay. So, so and he really liked them, and I, and I didn't not like them. They just. It was just another And you band. like going to shows. Right, right. right. And, and at this period of time, like how big was Mo? Were they... I have no idea. The, were, were, you saw them at the House of Blues? Yeah, 98, probably. Cause, cause so they, they, were playing, from, they, were, they were from the East Coast. They're so still I playing really clubs, know. mostly not arenas or Correct. festivals. So they festivals. would come into town and you'd see them basically at the House right. of Blues. Right, or maybe... they played at the John Anson Ford once. Okay. That was really sweet. Um, <laughs> and then I didn't, like, I kind of... I don't know when the Area 51 sound test was. <laughs> that was the Las Vegas Jam Band Society. It was just like they put a circus tent in the middle of the desert in Nevada and had a whole bunch of bands and Mo played there. And that was when it first like hit me. I was like, oh, that's that one song. Oh, I like this band. Like this, I really like these guys. Like it really... So maybe at that me. point you had seen them enough times where you kind of recognized right. the songs and then all right. of a sudden was it hit like, you as like, oh, that's familiar. And right. It's not just going to some random club and seeing some band So at thing. that point, how many times do you think you had seen them? Not that many. Maybe like 10 times, maybe okay. less than right, that. So we're I don't know. In, see, it's hard to say. Okay. Well, but I mean, like <laughs> establishing a timeline here. Right. And I that's, need to, they were already up to about double digits. Maybe even not say. that many because it depends what year it was because 98, I saw them. I would have to see. I wish I had my stats. Well, what, this, what is, this is not a deposition. This is not a deposition. Like, uh, <laughs> oh, one, yeah, right. 2002, 2003. Yeah. What so was the name of it again? I wasn't there. But the Area 51 sound test. I Francis remember listening to test. that on cassette. Can you do a little Francis-ing over there maybe and find it? Yeah. Would it be online? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So Francis would oh, yeah. be able to find it. So, okay, first time in 98. And then, right. and then that I would, was like two. Like they didn't come more than once a year, that's for sure. Because okay. they're an East Coast band. So maybe you'd seen them about... Uh, Maybe five times. About Aerosmith level times. Yes. <laughs> so, so at this point, are you, are you buying albums? Are you like getting cassettes oh. from live shows, from no tapers, and stuff Mo like albums. that? That's, yeah, that's my. That's I, the I've my never question. bought an album. Is that right? Those. But do you get the shows? I, ha- I have to get them signed. Like, Wait, how do those guys do feel about that? that? <laughs> <laughs> it's the live shows, man. Yeah. And they allowed they they've always allowed taping and taping. trading. Yeah. So yeah, when I started getting into them, we were doing uh, B and P's, uh, where we were blanks, blanks and postage, and postage mm-hmm. uh, sending tapes through the mail. Oh well, yeah. And uh, so that, that was before that was CDs, right. children. That was really before the Internet Archive took off. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, and once the Live Music Archive was there, it just all got uploaded and B B E Tree. So they've always been down the with having a, a taping section and cats yep. show up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I they've wish always been very up. taper friendly. I mean, it's the whole like <laughs> Grateful Dead. You yeah, know, it's, yeah, it's yeah, kind of like a branch of that right. kind right. of the the extension of the Deadhead scene in right. a way. Yeah. I guess as far as taping and right. trading and, and, and the, the format community. of the, like the two set, you know, set break and encore show. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. all kind of a structured thing that the Dead really started. Right. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay, so you're not buying studio <laughs> albums at this point, but you're trading and you're receiving. Or, I, right. I well, guess. my friend was, I would just listen to stuff. Okay. And then, <laughs> and then you just kind of continued then going to shows. What, well, what, what happened when was. When they come into town. <laughs> what happened was <laughs> in 2004, um, 2004, they did the first Mo Cruise, which was they bought part of a cruise ship, like, because they couldn't fill an entire cruise ship. So. They, I guess, rented, like, we we bought rooms. We were maybe, like, Essentially a chartered half of this right. Norwegian cruise ship. Right. And I met, and they played every night. And uh, I met so many awesome people that are still really good friends to this day. And as a matter of fact, I met Elwood on the first Mo Cruise. That is correct. So that, you guys known each other since 2004, the Mo Cruise of 2004. Yeah, right. Mar- March of 2004. Yes. Yeah. Yep. And you've remained... Yeah. Obviously, friends eh. like you said, <laughs> we tolerate each yeah. other. We know each other. <laughs> I didn't mean to be a you know. I didn't mean to assume anything over it. Sorry, I didn't want to be presumptuous. But did kind of show up together, so, <laughs> you know. Uh, there, there is um, there. I, I would say kind of all of the Mo fans, or at least the ones that we 
hang out with all the time tend right. to have uh, similar personalities, sense of humor. Yeah. yeah. Um, we're quite sarcastic. We're... And, uh, <laughs> mean <snarky> sometimes. And... <laughs> Some of us are mean. Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Speak for yourself, right? No. Nope. Hey, can I? Or were you? I don't. <laughs> you know. You know. On your. Wait. What, what was the um, the bumper stickers you had? I, oh, I had my your <laughs> my other ride is your mom. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I miss that car. <laughs> okay, so we're back at, at okay. So let's let's go so, to two thousand four. Right. Okay. I right. think I met you around two thousand four. When I was in a band, I I remember the first time I met you. You were at a show that I was I had been playing, and I think it was at the it was at the Derby. Okay. You remember the Derby up yep, at uh, yep, Los yep. Feliz? Yep. And I was playing with I think it was RCA at that point. Yep. With Val. Yep. And I think that's the first I met you. That's the first. That's the earliest I can remember. Right. Meeting you. I and may the have RCA was around that. that era. Yes. Yes. With Jeff. Yep. So you remember that? Yeah. Before Chris. Right. Not this Chris, the other Chris. Right. Yeah. Uh, so that was around 2003 or 4 There was never ish. a time before this Chris. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay. But, so that means I kind of knew you when you were still, because I had already thought that when I knew you, you were already like big into Mo. Right. As far as I knew. Right. And I guess you would have been if you saw them. Right. If I went on a cruise. Yeah. Yeah. Like, but um, I met so many great people and then I... Uh, had time and money and some insanity, and so I started going to a bunch of shows all over the country. All right. Okay. So like, the, that yeah, that so that first cruise was the one that, was, you that made me go nuts. Okay. So before <laughs that, it was that always like me. local, or at least California, right. maybe San Francisco, right, or Ventura. Right. right. Or yeah, we like would that. do whole like West Coast tours for sure. Right. And Mo was. Well, all, what do you mean by West Coast tour? They would do San Diego, Los Angeles. Uh, Seattle, San, San Francisco, Portland. So you just kind of yeah, yeah, we would just, just do the whole do thing the and trip. like we'd see we'd see the band like at a restaurant or whatever, and they're like, "Wow, you're at this show too," yeah, yeah. you know, because <laughs> yeah. they're like because they're used to the East Coast where you drive for two hours and you're in another state, right? You know, yeah. <laughs> so they're like, "Wow," and we're like, "It's we, we have great motivation." <laughs> <laughs> oh, here come the puns, the puns. Oh, boy. here come the puns. <laughs> so then you take the trip. You go on the tour on the on the on the cruise, cruise right. and you had a blast. And you're like, yeah, and, and then the, and then the doors people. just yeah, just open up. Okay, yeah. Skippy. So this is how many how many a day cruise is this that w- that five? you go? Oh, geez, that was yeah, it must have been a five. I think it was five a five day seven. cruise. What was it? Two or three ports of call? I don't remember. <laughs> so that seems <laughs> that's, three, that's asking a lot. <laughs> that's understandable to figure. And did, did they? play different sets every night kind yeah. of deal yeah and, then, and that's another thing like that, that's a lot of ba- right a lot of bands play the same set every night so you don't need to go to more than one sh- right it's like choreographed in a, and in a row right yeah. right and they flip it around and do that right in a like cruise. Vogel Bordello, who I love also, and I will see three nights in a row, even though it's the exact same show mm. but it's the exact same right. show. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> like rush like right. you know rush, you, right uh, so and, but Mo, and, and, it's a different set list every time and you chase certain songs and Write down the set list. Well, we used to write down the set list when people used to use pen and paper and yeah. stuff. You kids don't well, we know. Used to, we used to <laughs> gamble on the set list. That, that's what made it most interesting for me is that we'd all, like, at the beginning of a show, we'd do basically like a football draft and just pick the songs. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, you, everybody throws in five bucks or whatever. And oh, wow. Look at that. The person who gets the most songs wins. So, wow. so and, and being trapped on a boat is super conducive. To meeting folks and hanging yes, out and doing absolutely. that. Absolutely. How about like it's, I'm it's, I'm sure there's got to be people in your crew though that didn't go on that cruise. Yeah. So is it but just they don't matter. like do you show up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fuck those people. But how do you meet those folks? I mean, how do you get going, this huge? So that's the thing. Like it was, <clears throat> it just became a huge network because, like Elwood said, we have similar snarky senses of humor. We like the same music. Like it just became like a family or a. 
family. <laughs> ah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> and the other thing is, you know, a bunch of people all across the country that you've met in these places. Um, when you're traveling around to see a band, it helps to know people everywhere because right. you Somewhere got a couch to stay, to stay on. Right and on. then people you like are like, "Oh, you got to meet this person." Like you don't know this person, they also love Mo. Mm. And then <laughs> like, so you see somebody at two or three shows, right? And you go, "Hey, Dick Face." Exactly. exactly. And if they don't punch you in the face, you're like, "They're cool. They're exactly. in." Exactly. <laughs> yep. That's why I meant. And then, and there was also uh, fantasytour.com was a message board. Oh yeah. And so th- I got on it after the cruise. And this is to- like pre like so messenger cool. or uh, like Facebook. This right. Is pre- like right this before is- MySpace. Yeah, before MySpace. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So and wasn't there? And maybe I'm remembering this wrong. Was there not a mo? Like fantasy football league. That's what I'm saying. Fantasy oh, yeah. tour. So yeah. it was message boards, and also you can keep track of your. That's why I said stats earlier. You can keep track of your stats, your statistics. Like you, you get to mark off which shows you've seen, and then it'll tell you, oh well, you've seen this song this many times, and you've seen them this many times on a Tuesday. Yeah, so it tracks all your stats for right. you. Wow. Right. It, the, um, it, it was, was originally... it was built for for fish. It was a right. fish oh, message yeah. board, yeah. and and the fish and message board there is pink. absolutely disgusting. It's awesome. <laughs> Check it out for a day. It's but, um, but they started doing all these little other bands as offshoots of it, and um, it's you know you can go in there and see how many times you've seen each song you know and like what night of the week you've seen them and like right. what cities of the country and, it's... and where in the set it was like so was if you're it in the data, first set like, third song reports and like, so when we're very asking... nerdy very nerdy <laughs> so then it comes brings us to the next thing is as are we're you asking... guys such nerds <laughs> no it brings to the question of as we're asking all these questions for the stats <laughs> like you have it right at your fingertips online we could have just said like you've seen them that's play. what i said i wish i had looked at my stats because i don't i haven't been on fantasy tour for a long time so i don't know my i have it at, um, in my computer <laughs> like my computer knows the password it's... i don't know the password so i could tell you exact. in fact you can fill it in later i'll, I'll let you know it's amazing it, it it is it's amazing to me to think about seeing a band that often but i'm getting it too like the social aspect of it and the crew that's, that you right. develop of... that's what happened was i fell in love with these people yeah that's and they're so all rad. over the country because we met on that boat yeah you know so we're from all over the place so when I, I i was able to do some traveling so i'm like oh i'll go there because that those people are there and i'll go there so it's really like essentially just hanging out with friends and oh by the way hey a very cool band exactly always exactly. playing al always playing. uh one of the guitar players actually said that at a mo down they have their own festival called mow down um, rest in peace or for, <laughs> yeah, for, no, now. for now <laughs> for this year it's just resting it's just resting its eyes so i assume it's a hiatus year from uh, the yeah we Mo don't Down. talk about it okay uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay it's the no zone so this whiskey's good anyway yeah nice so, so <laughs> what is harder your lemonade is delicious. so al actually said like he he saw people that knew each other like two really tall guys like come together like while they're playing and just not even care about the music, like just be like, "Hey, how you doing?" And he was like, "We're we're basically just like playing backup for your guys' reunions, you know, like, and it's a beautiful thing." Yeah. <laughs> like, what is it about them, like musically, that did it for you? That you were like, "Damn, Jim. Like, uh, and Jim, <laughs> I, I know that you're in, the, and they do the percussionist slash multi instrumental and everything like that I know about. <laughs> so dreamy, Mo. he is. I know. I can tell the way. <laughs> And everything that He's I know about favorite. Mo, I know from being friends with you on Facebook. Right. And the fact that they do like like a drum circle kind of thing. No. I, I shouldn't say it. How <laughs> dare you? I knew. Yeah, I knew. I could throw it in. As soon as that came out of my mouth, I was like, God <laughs> damn, here it is. Hey, don't forget, we got the magic of uh, Francis's editing, too. You know so what's can... worse than a hippie drum circle? <laughs> A drum circle? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> that was on the tip of my tongue, but I thought, no, let me hear the final one. <laughs> okay, so it's not their drum circle, no, but they do like. But a, they have a drummer per- and a percussionist, which is my. And they do a percussionist like, like jam, like sets at a yes, time. Yes, right? there's songs that have set like drums and percussion. The percussionist also plays vibraphone and marimba, that kind of stuff. It's kind of cool. Yeah, it's cool. So that, that's, and that's it separates kind of, them from a lot of other bands. Yeah, kind of most specialty is that they um, write very interesting set lists and creatively weave their way right. from one song to another. And the segue from and, one and song to another is really a big deal. And the segues are the meat and potatoes of Mo. I mean, like, their songs are okay, but, like, when they're, like, <laughs> going from a transition of one song into another one, 
And that's it, when it's it, like, whoa, dude. That's like sometimes you just completely get lost. You have no idea where they're going. And sometimes all of a sudden, Mo like, does too. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah. But, but that's what you find when it, when it really them, works. Sure. Right, like, right, yeah. Holy yeah. shit, man. That was so, Super you know, like, yeah. but, yeah. you know, sometimes it's That's the thing about being a jam band. Like you try stuff like that right. maybe a non-jam band wouldn't because right. they're just doing what they've. And, and you, you have the, the type goes. of fans who allow you to do that yes. without without kind of getting pissed at you for right, if you mess right, up. Right. Well, and they actually find the, it endearing that you try exactly. is that they, yeah. they can follow along with it because like, you know, like you can totally get lost and have no idea what's going on. Yeah. It could be like a 15 minute jam and you're like, right. what what song were they playing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like all of a sudden you, they you come the back beat, in and you're like, the beat oh, start kicking in or you hear the bass line and like, you're like, oh dude. And then you, everybody's like, Oh, they're going back into Buster. Right. Or, or, or and then whatever, you get to you know? guess, too. Like, you'd be like, oh, they're exactly. planning to play Buster. No, no, it's going to be a movie. Right. And so then you're, you're like, kinda, oh, I didn't see that. So in a way, you're kind of in on it with them. Exactly. Yes, there and, is a big, like, give and take between yeah. the stage and the crowd, which also helps a lot. Yeah. And also led to part of my <laughs> my obsession. Obsession. <laughs> Feeling you're like, part of it. Oh, my God. They do know we're here. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like, <laughs> what? That's true, because how many, you know, how many other shows do you go to where it is? It's just such a choreographed graft kind of uh, boxed and since show. i have seen them more than more than 400 times more than 400 yeah, times that's that <coughs> that's, that's think, think about that that's think about lot. that first you that's saw them lot. first you saw first you saw them 100 times right and then you saw them 100 more than that <laughs> yes yeah. and then you saw them 100 more than that but there was the straza before the 100 a what? The, the 75th show is known, is known as crossing the straza line they had a drummer who played with them for exactly 75 shows Okay. Named Mike Straza. Yeah. So when you hit did your seventy you fifth, maybe. Oh, so that was early. Maybe. I did. That I was in the early days. <laughs> I don't know who was playing drums when I saw him the first time. So that was the early, early days when he was around. By the way, yeah, that, that so. Area Fifty One sound test uh, on YouTube. There's a video of uh, Mo playing at um, April twelfth, two thousand three. That makes there sense. There it is. Yeah. Thank you, Francis. <laughs> anytime, anytime, Rich. <laughs> So you you cross the the Straza, Straza line. line, right? And now so, everybody who sees the seventy fifth show has crossed the Straza line, right? Correct. Okay. And Mo also does this thing. I guess it started out before my time. They had uh, like a basket where you could put announcements, and they would read them. And uh, they kind of continued that on. They still do it. We call them Al announcements because Al announces like so and so's birthday. Like if you can get a, a note up on stage, like. You know, like it's so and so's birthday, it's so and so's fiftieth show. You know, it's mm. it's really sweet. Yeah, it's cool. So they definitely like incorporate the fans into right, the, even though very they, and that's fan what, oriented. And yeah. that's what, even though they don't well, listen to anything I say. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what keeps you coming back, also. <laughs> no, but they will now. No, they won't. <laughs> so then, <laughs> I've seen them over four hundred times. <laughs> so then you've been able to meet, you know, people all around the country, right. then. and and you have, it's actually a really tight knit community. Very. But yet spread across an entire the entire United Very States. Very geographically right. diverse. Yep. There's even we know uh, some from France. Japan. Some, yep. They did a Japan tour. I know a guy from Germany. Wow. So. And yeah. you can and you basically, I mean, you can now pick a city. Yeah, and I don't have to pay for a hotel. <laughs> how many shows? <laughs> how many shows does Mo play a year on average? Do you think? At their heaviest, I know they were gigging like at least a hundred times a year, but that was they were young. Yeah, now they what, now they never play anywhere anymore. Thirty shows, bastards, a year, maybe. Yeah, getting know. old. Thirty shows. They a year. definitely don't come to 30. LA. They don't yeah. come to the West Coast. That's just a guess, enough. though. Don't quote me on that. Mm-hmm. I have no idea, really. <laughs> You'll have to check fantasy tour. I like to just throw out like stats, and <laughs> act, act like they're facts, unsubstantiated. <laughs> 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 Potentially create controversy. You sounded good with the 32. <laughs> I, was, I was completely buying it. All the way I'm like, 30? Okay. 32. Okay. <laughs> nice, yeah. That's, it's just okay. how you say it, right? So they, it. Uh, the, they have a song called 32 Things. So it's a big, ah. 32 is a big, big number. number. So big we're like, number from Yeah. <laughs> it's okay, like so two more than 30. <laughs> it is. Eight less than 40. It's crazy. I always said Andrea and math are strong. Like, <laughs> yeah, together, that's, that's my two. strong suit. <laughs> So when was your last show? <laughs> uh, last time I saw him was in Northampton, Massachusetts, about I don't know a month and a half, two months ago, something like that. Well, they did take that a break, right? Because um, right. one of the members was sick. Yeah, the bass player had Rob, cancer. Right, yeah, you know? Rob. Yeah, he's okay now. Yeah, he's great now. Good. And singing again. And Ooh. oh, maybe the last time I saw was them New was New the Capitol Theater. 
Oh, you went to the Capitol when Pit. they first came back. There it is. Yes, yep. that is last time when I saw him. Jesus, that? the Capitol Theater. Oh, uh-huh. week that was. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like <laughs> last week, a few months ago, two years ago, ish, uh, like a year maybe, okay. almost. So, oh wow, ago. okay. So it doesn't not? matter because people could verify. It's been anyway, a while. Look it up on the internet, yeah, man. You know. <laughs> it wasn't that long. Google. One of my Google. <laughs> it was like. Uh, <laughs> it was like March. Sure. February. I don't okay. know. Yeah. February, March. It was it cold. W- it wasn't too long ago. It wasn't but, too long ago. But That's you another are problem. Mo makes me go to cold places. It pisses <laughs> me off. Really? Yeah, they always play on the eat. That's what Jim said, and I thought I was <laughs> stupid when he said it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you do have to go. Do you have like Jim's personal email address that you send him? Yes. Stuff? That's, <laughs> so that's pretty cool that you have. I made him give me his number recently. <laughs> she made him. Do you, you have phone wanna, number? I don't want to talk about oh that. So when you see the band, like, because you're always at shows and stuff, do they right. they know they're like. They There's know, Elwood and Andrea. What up? Yeah, they know up? us now after I, yeah, I mean, I, seeing I, them for so long. I've skied with uh, Al, the guitar player, a right. whole bunch. We're like we when when they play out in Colorado and stuff, we'll go skiing. Right. Like because a lot and, of people that I know out. were friends with them already, which was why they were in Demo, or because they got in from the beginning or whatever. So since it's such a tight knit group, you meet people, and some of them happen to know the band, and so that's how I got to like they know me, I know them. You know. That's pretty rad. So it's a group that and Jim has, and I are buddies has reached a certain <laughs> level, a pretty high level of success. The other but, ones tolerate me, <laughs> but they're still pretty cool. They're still pretty grown. Oh, they're too. really nice guys. Yeah. They're, they're so yeah, nice. they're all very down to earth. Yeah, real nice guys. And so how really do, nice their fans. So like Rob. <laughs> new but fans, let's say I don't just automatically <laughs> like them because they like well. Okay, so <laughs> like, <laughs> although that's what I was going to say back in the day, like that was part of our thing. Uh, we had what we called the hate filter. Where <laughs> mostly we hate everything, but some people get through <laughs> the levels of the hate. Filter. I would love this group. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my friend Dave and I, I came up with it. Or, um, this particular aspect NYC, of it. NYC Dave. No, Chef Dave. Oh, Chef Dave. Okay. Um, he's a chef. Shout out to Chef Dave. Shout out mm. to Chef Dave, and the hate filter. So basically, like, <laughs> I already don't like you unless we have something in common. Oh, you like Mo? Okay, you've gotten down another level. Like, so that was a significant portion of the hate filter. Like, oh. if you like Mo, then we have a chance of... But you're not in still. Oh, gosh, That's no. just one... There are many like, levels. Yeah. It <laughs> takes me a while before I actually, like, like someone. Yeah. Like, I don't just... Well, of course. It, yeah. took, right. it took, like, five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, she. The, the moment she saw me, I was arguing with the uh, people at the hospital staff on a cruise ship <laughs> because I had stepped on a sea urchin earlier that day. And I was like, can you just tell me if this is going to kill me? And they're oh. like, 50 bucks, and we'll tell you. I'm like, He's like, I'm not going to pay that. Like, I ain't paying you shit. I'm like, you tell like, me. I was like, do you want me to pay for you to go to the doctor, mister? <laughs> I was like, no, nah, 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 I'm just going to go pee. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and then I saw you at a mowdown, and I was like, oh, my God, it's the sea urchin guy. Yep. Nice. So well, we yeah. actually were in the same camp, too. That was the. Mowdown five. Was that the giant, giant one? Yeah. I think that was my first mowdown. That was a lot of people. Maybe first four. Mowdown. My first is five. I don't know if my first was four or five. Been so, everyone since. But so I can yeah, find out. On you can tour. see just just by the the interaction of the two of you sitting on the couch right now, just talking. About, you can see the bigger community just within the two of you, just the way you kind of banter with each other. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you can you can imagine. Fifty of you hanging out, <laughs> and getting oh, kicked out uh, of hotel. Well, imagine yeah, trying to get yeah. a word in edgewise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you have a problem with well, that. I mean, and, and I've been there. I've seen it before. One, you know, I've been to. Right. Well, I've been to now. I think I've been to f- actually four or five most shows. Yeah. I've seen them in L.A. I've seen them in Ventura. Yep. I've seen them in Pittsburgh. Yep. Because that's Me where too. I'm from, and Me you too. were there. <laughs> uh, in New York, I've seen them in New York, and you were there at Me every too. single one, obviously. <laughs> what show in New York? <laughs> Uh, the it was the the Irving Plaza. It was, it? was no, it was no. at Radio City Music Hall. Oh, it's Radio City because uh, he was Eve. in the Family Band that oh, remember Val. Yeah. yeah, I was there. Yeah, the the <laughs> after show yep. after it was New Year's Eve. It was the right, was that it was the New I Year's. saw them New Year's Eve. They played right. two shows. I saw but them I New Year's the Eve. I think the thirtieth might have been the Family Band. Yeah, yeah, and we played in that basement um, yeah. place wherever it was. I can't remember yep. on top of my head. And but. did the worst karaoke ever because we only had one singer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Jim showed up to that. Yeah, and he, and he played. played two songs. Yeah, that yeah. was cool. Yeah, but um, I forgot what, what I was gonna say. I was gonna so, ask about the mowdown. 
The Mo Down. Where is this located? Turin, New York, upstate New York, middle uh, of nowhere. Um, do you camp? Yes, but now I RV because RVs. I'm old. RVs all the way. <laughs> oh, we used to camp, yeah. <laughs> Once upon a time. Yeah, that's what I was. Slept, slept in tents. Yep. No showers. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Sounds great when puddles. you're like under 35. Exactly. Maybe right. 30. Totally. But then right. after that, you're just like, give me, yeah, give me a shower. Give me, <laughs> give me a toilet. Yeah. Give me a bed. I would like an actual an AC, pillow. Yes. Yes. Whatever exactly. It is. Yeah. Oh. Yep. And do they do multiple days? Is yeah. Multiple it's a day? four day festival. Basically. Yeah. yeah and like, they have other bands as well. Yep. And they always yep. close kind of deal. Or? Yep. They play every night. And uh, they have like a day set. One day set, two day sets. Well, they changed the format last right. time, so I don't even know what they do anymore. But, but they play like, like five or well, six they, they times the during Thursday the weekend. Thursday night thing now, and it's like right. VIPs get to go see this Thursday set. Right. And then uh, Friday they play what? Just one set at night. Saturday they do a day, day set, set, two night sets, or something like something that. like I five, have no idea. five or six sets during the weekend. By the time Saturday comes around, I'm in my own <laughs> place. I'm lucky if I can get out of the tent or the RV and get to the show. Well, we there's a golf tournament every year at Mowdown, and uh, we I did that for the first time this year, and that it was just that was epic. It was like <laughs> that's pretty cool. Kegs of beer on golf. Every yeah, hole that's cool. And like just driving around in golf carts, drinking beers is crazy. <laughs> and occasionally hitting a golf ball. Well, how many shows have you seen, Elwood? Uh, I am around two hundred and ten. Oh, so you're still a baby? Yeah, I'm a total dude. <laughs> 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 and I still hang out. With you. Uh, but I did. I know. I, I did you pass through the filter at least. I yeah. also, <laughs> well, on day one, oh, he's I, got I, hate down in his heart. <laughs> but uh, yeah. I, <laughs> My first show, also 98, um, I saw him, like, I actually saw him at college. Uh, I went to a small school in upstate, uh, or downstate Vermont, uh, called Castleton State College, and I was playing rugby, and I walked to the, it was spring weekend, spring fling weekend, and I walked to the campus center, and this band was playing. I'm still, like, bleeding and shit, and, like, <laughs> so checked him out, and it was like, oh, these guys are cool. I didn't see him again until, like, Gathering of the Vibes, like two or three years later so um yeah it was for me it was a slow trickle as well i didn't really uh catch on it that mo cruise was really it for a lot of us um yeah. it was a big deal it was where all of us kind of like really got crazy with yeah. it yeah 2004 was definitely my biggest year i think i saw uh 25 shows that year or something like that <laughs> so so have you do you know of anybody who's seen more shows than you yes James. James yeah. Paddock. James. I don't know his exact number, but he has seen more He's shows over 500. Than me. Damn him. Yeah. That guy. means we got to get him in. <laughs> oh, but he's he's uh, James. Right. He'll be here for more. <laughs> to, to James' <laughs> credit, month, yeah. he's retired, so he doesn't have to like right. work or anything. Oh, okay. He gets to go to see Mo. Yeah, he doesn't look as insane too. as I do. <laughs> <laughs> but so that you'd be like up there at number two, three. Maybe. I don't know. She's up there. Yeah. Definitely up there. Like, yeah, sometimes the one it's rung actually, down from yeah, the Yeah, sometimes band. it's actually kind of annoying because like, people really? are like, oh, I've seen you on the internet. And I'm like, really? Like, oh, that's embarrassing. You know? like Really? Yeah, it's so weird. So they come up to you and like, oh, you're like, you're right, that like, girl. You're that one. You're the right, one. You're, right, like, you're Andrew. Well, and then I really you're JJ. Are, you're JJ, right. right? And JJ stands for Jim Junkie. That was my name on the uh, fantasy, tour. fantasy tour. Yeah, yeah so that, that's one of the weird phenomenons about fantasy tour is that everyone has their online presence on fantasy tour, right. and you get to know people by their handle. I still have whatever. people in my phone and as like, like for years. People would come up to me and be like, "Oh, you're Captain Elwood." And it's like, how do you even like who are you, and how do you right. know me? Like, right. And this is before Facebook, where like your picture's not on that website, right? You right. know, it was <laughs> like just, it's just it was the just name, your right? Handle. right? All right. So what's what's a newbie uh, etiquette? You know, as far as approaching you, or at least talking Ooh, to you, saying hi. Question. That's an interesting question. <laughs> Are people going to listen to yeah, this? How did, this is how did they? How don't did they, uh, newbie etiquette. Do not talk to me one, when Jim is don't playing. Don't eat too many drugs. <laughs> Just enough. Don't eat too many drugs because do then not you get speak annoying. to me while Jim is playing. That's number one. <laughs> like people have too many drugs. I will not annoying. listen. Yeah, like, that's really the only rule. If you ate too many <laughs> drugs and you're sloppy, just get the. And right, don't talk right. to Andrea while Jim is playing. But then, otherwise, what? Like, if they see you, you know. I mean, like, I'll be nice to people, but like I said, I don't like somebody just because they came up to me and knows, knows my name. Like, do you hear that, newbies? <laughs> See, I don't want to do this part. Step carefully. <laughs> I don't like this part. I don't want to give them too much information. 
<laughs> that's why want, that's why we put a mic in front yeah. of you and start I don't, asking I don't questions. Want, well, I don't want okay. them to know how to get Well, to hopefully me. nobody's uh, coming to you and asking for an autograph. No, not yet. Okay. Like that, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> not yet, she says. Not until, not until our first podcast. Not until this podcast. This is our first podcast. <laughs> yeah. Have they asked for selfies? <laughs> Yeah, did they ask you to like take a selfie with them or anything? Or oh, that's weird. That is weird, isn't it? <laughs> well, I mean, like you're just below the band, I guess. You know, like this the band, and then there's like I'm you probably, and James. I'm probably, I guess, the most famous. I, I think I'm band. above the band, actually. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell them I said that. Too. <laughs> They'll know that you mean that. <laughs> like, why is everybody's back to us? It's Elwood again, it's entertaining the masses. I, I, I would just honestly, Andrea, out of out of everybody in the in the most scene, she's like she knows more people than anybody. And she's like probably like, I don't know, you, you t- tend to have more PT people or like more people that, you know, than a lot of people. Right. Other people. Me, I don't want to I don't want to talk to anybody. Like, I'm like, <laughs> well, that's very... why I like to like introduce people like in the beginning. Like it was like, you don't know this person. You have to know this person. So then now we've kind of hit that limit, which is why now, you know, everybody you need to know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was gonna say. Uh, no, you can only you, you can I think only that's handle human so nature. many. You know? you can't this. I think there's, all, there's <laughs> yeah, only so many people you can like in your life. Yeah, no, it's I true. No, it's yeah. true. You know, that, that there have actually been studies that show yeah. that. Like you can only your your circle of people can only be yeah, so you can't, big. Yeah. It can't, be, can't be wide open. <laughs> <laughs> you can't talk to everybody. Then then all of a sudden they're like, oh, this is such a dick. I mean, Never but even came up and talked to me. But right, but you got to be open because maybe it's somebody you haven't met before that is awesome. That's like super so, awesome. so like totally. I'll give people a chance. Well, that's why you have the filter, right? Right, I mean, that's, <laughs> right. Like I'll talk to people, but we're not. So I'm not your best we're, friend. We're taking right. applications. Like, right. It's okay. Right. <laughs> well, you're always cordial. Right. Just don't be a dick and don't talk to me when Jim's playing. You can download the application at (laughs) (laughs) www. Even that's not true. Don't not nine ninety nine per application. Don't be a dick if you're doing it in an intelligent, in a funny way, funny way. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Once I already know you, you can be a dick about other people before we know each other, and that's funny. (laughs) Do you guys get hookups on tickets? Like, is there like a? If I, I could, but I don't ask for it. But I do uh, ask for backstage passes so I can hang out with Jim because he's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> wait, do we establish that already? So wait, you always, <laughs> um, I, do you, I buy each... tickets for every show that I go to. Yeah, I buy, yeah, I, I always, buy the tickets. Always buy a ticket. Do you, do you? The uh... only time I wouldn't is like if it sells out, like because I'll get a ticket right when it. But if it's like a crazy, I've only done it once with the show. It was the. Mo Evolution. They played the tiniest place in Atlanta that uh, they first played, Smith's and then the next, bar. right, and then the next highest number of variety playhouse and the- yeah but i think that's really great just the fact that you're buying the tickets because right. people can you know it's a good way to support the band right and, that's why and that should be something right. across many bands yeah. right that's why i, I won't i won't albums i won't yeah. buy uh uh whatever the count the uh counterfeit t-shirts they sell outside yeah. of concerts yeah, like because yeah, yeah. i, I want knock-offs. my money to go to the band yeah. you know like right. I'm not is, okay. is there a seating area like that you guys congregate most often, or on the it... rail? I like to be on the rail so yeah. I can see Jim. Andrea, <laughs> <laughs> that, How that's is the it front. Up there? That's the front. Is it? I mean, is it? Is we, it like a well, like you got to work to get there and pull? You just got to get there really early. <laughs> yeah. so. I just tend to go up there whenever I feel like it, <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll leave and then when I don't feel like being up there. Well, yeah, is it, is it, that's it, another thing. Like a lot of us, like we like to like sit in line for an hour and we hang out and wait for yeah, I mean, the there's, there's a whole group of people that are always going to be on the rail. So right. if anybody wants to go up there from like our crew, you right. can pretty much always go up there and find someone, you know, and right. So that's why, like when I say I just, you know, go up there whenever I feel right. like it, it's, I say that somewhat in jest. I don't, Right. typically barrel my way through the crowd to get up unless to the necessary front, unless they're playing neat <laughs> um, but yeah i mean it's it, there's just always a group of people you're gonna know right. up there so you can dip in if you'd like to right but um me lately i've tended to hang towards the back right but the, actually their sound guy <laughs> uh started doing what he called he calls now the andrea speakers <laughs> where it's the back of house feed on the stage because sometimes you can't hear very well, like on the at the very front of the stage, you can't hear what's being projected. One so of the reasons why sometimes I've he'll do the speakers at the, the front back. so I can hear better. The sound guy, <laughs> wait, the sound guy for Mo sets yes. up the speakers for you, sort of. Basically. Sometimes, yeah. I mean, it's happened. He does. Wow. He does call them his Andrea speakers. That's great. It's at least in your honor. How's that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
That's awesome. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Oh, that is very cool. It, it's a very tight knit crew of people. Yeah. It really yeah. is. I yeah. mean, like we know the crew. We know all the. They're all awesome yeah. people. Like their families. Like everybody. Like especially like at Modown, you get to meet everybody's families. Right. It's just such a. It, it really is a family to say that puke worthy word. <laughs> Well, I, get I, it. I mean, beautiful. people bring their kids and stuff, right? I mean, yeah. people have babies and whatever. Yeah. I just don't like the punny, exactly. the puns. I love yeah. it. I like oh, to yeah. put Mo Andy into words where it doesn't even belong. <laughs> I know. Do you guys have battles with like other giant fan groups? Umphreys. Umphreys. <laughs> not, really. <laughs> not really, because we don't really give a crap what anybody else exactly. thinks. <laughs> there's so, there's some people where like if you say something bad about their band, like how could you say that? We're like, yeah, yeah. I guess, <laughs> You're probably I guess right. I guess they do kind of do that. That's all right. <laughs> 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 Like, I'm trying to care. think who who are the, who are some other bands that have like a rival the, the diehard uh you know traveling fans. We do like to make fun of fish fans. Fish fans. Although yeah, a I lot mean, of Morons are fish fans. Yeah. The, the but I like a lot of cross I like to make them. fun of the fish fans. <laughs> yeah, you do. Fish, uh, Humphreys, <laughs> McGee, uh, right. the Disco Biscuits are another big one. Um String Cheese. I don't like any of them. Cheese incidents. Yeah. Not uh, one of them and I don't like any of them. Uh, uh, oh, I like Panic. Panic <laughs> government Mule. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Jack, I do like one. that one. But do they all have a similar type of following or is it not Absolutely. There's definitely like there's there's like an Andrea of widespread oh, really? and there's oh. an I'm sure yeah, oh, yeah? there's yeah. an Andrea fish of course but, yeah. but you would never not me it's yeah. not me no but, but I mean you would never want to talk to that Andrea <laughs> I mean I'd talk to them yeah, but should have to not about to their them. band yeah <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't hate her first can you, imagine, but I, <laughs> can you imagine what the Andrea of string cheese is oh my like God. <laughs> <laughs> she's probably all glitter and oh, God. fairy wings totally. and bubbles absolutely Ugh. But she used to just like never. She probably gets. Shoes. She probably she's gets a, sad if you say something mean to her. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> so I take it you are not a fan of any of those bands. Or? Hate them all, except for except for Panic. I like Panic. <laughs> except for Panic. See, I, I disagree. <laughs> but I, I like a lot of. I love a lot of those bands. I don't not hate Umphreys. I like about but... half of what Umphreys does. But you had already uh, established, but you're not really a jam band correct. person. Yeah, I and mean, that's the problem with jam bands. They do tend to go on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little long in the tooth. Yeah. <laughs> and usually they don't have enough drummers either. Like, <laughs> How many is like enough? Like the Allman Brothers had, what, two drummers? Two, and yeah. a per- Did they have a percussionist too? Uh, I, I think, think they so. had like four at one point. Right. I mean, so like, like that I can understand. That, that kind of band I understand. But like... <laughs> <laughs> well, me too. Being and and O'Teal you know, himself, like, right? Plays and see, like the bass. a lot of a lot of jam bands too are like really. No offense, Francis. They're they're really like guitar oriented. They're like, oh, this guitar player is the best thing ever. And I'm like, like Umphreys, I can't even hear their percussionist. I'm like, why? Why is this? A thing. See, yeah, I, so I, am, not, a, I like, am a guitar why? guy, by the way. Yeah. So. Well, I was just about to say, so right. now that we've reached the end of the episode, <laughs> <laughs> how would you... I can uh, leave now. <laughs> <laughs> Give me those headphones. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Should I have been recording? I thought we were prepping. <laughs> I mean, let's be clear. We got to do the intro again. Two they guitar have two players. guitarists, and I like them a lot. <laughs> and a bass player. Right. I, I call which is the, also a guitar. I call the three guys in front the superfluous <laughs> string thing players. <laughs> string thing. <laughs> All for no the offense. Drums. All for the drums. <laughs> now, I, thought, I mean, I do like what the I do like what most bass and guitarists do. Like dumpster funk. They're my do favorite. Thing where they dumpster press funk. the string. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. They, yeah. they do that doodly doodly. So yeah. Yeah. But I don't like the two so doodly doodly. What's doodly wrong with that? Much. It's so good. It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> the more bass, the better, in my opinion. I like bass. I do like the bass. dumpster funk. That's the rhythm section. Double yeah. bass. Hell yeah. <laughs> I love dumpster oh. fun. Right here, right here. Uh, I love them. And yeah, we saw them together too, didn't we? We all, we all went to see them together, didn't we? Maybe you. I've seen there. dumpster. You fun. were there. No, you weren't there. Actually, you I went with Val. There for uh, uh, you were there. I saw them. I, in know, the, I you were there. there. I went Val for the lettuce mint. and the trombone short. You went there. Lettuce, too, yeah. trombone. I've, I used to all. I've, I've seen all these guys on Jam Cruise. Yep. I'm a big Jam Cruiser, mm-hmm. so I love that. I used to love Dumpster Funk, but they, it's like the same show every time, like from year to year. Mm. So it doesn't really feel. But how many times did you see them? Uh, like twice. <laughs> <laughs> twice. <laughs> yeah, like she's, maybe so, five, she's seen them at like three festivals. I've so, seen like, them. No, it's I, like the I've seen them a bunch. Fest, no, but, I've seen them know. a bunch when I still like like. I used to like a lot more. Well, I used to like nothing but Mo. And then I started to like a bunch of other stuff, and now I'm back to only liking like three things. <laughs> so what are those three things? <laughs> Psycho Stick. Psycho Stick. Psycho Stick. Mike Patton. Mike Patton. 
That's right. And, <laughs> and right. Gogo Bordello. And uh, oh, I like a couple things. Oh, that's a four. I know. I, 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 I cats. like three things. I said. <laughs> Not exactly three Give things. or take. <laughs> remember math, Andrew. Right. Math, remember that. Because <laughs> I, I, I had a theory that like you, you have to try new things so you know what you hate. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'm just getting tired of trying new things. That's a way to look at it. You gotta, try, <laughs> you gotta try new things just so you really know what you hate. You can't that, just hate. You gotta experience and then hate. You gotta you gotta right. know that your awesome. hate is justified. That, right? That's going on your t shirt. <laughs> Excellent. You wanted to justify your hate. That's that would be right. a great t shirt. <laughs> I like to try new things so I know what I hate. So anything you wanna talk about, uh, uh promote or give a shout out? I Anybody? like well. <laughs> uh, both, both playing the Fonda on the something next month. <laughs> yeah, isn't it like uh, June or July. July 6th or something like that? I think it's July 6th. Yeah, I think the 6th at the Fonda. They're Just playing Terrapin Simo. Crossroads uh, a week from Wednesday or Thursday. Something. Uh, a then, week from Thursday, Terrapin Crossroads up in San Francisco. Yep. What is that and, date? Uh, like the twenty. But you'll never get tickets. Oh yeah, they're they're all sold out. All <laughs> they're shows. playing Santa Cruz they're doing though. Four shows. Are they playing uh, Pappies and Harriet's. They are playing they are. Pap- Pappies after and Harriet's? L.A. They're doing yeah. Ter- Terrapin Crossroads four shows, Santa Cruz, and then no break in driving. We do, there's no break of a day. The next day they're playing in Solana Beach. Where not, is that? Not pleased about that. At the Belly Up. Yeah. Oh. They're playing there two nights, and then the Fonda, and then Pappy and Harry. How can you get? I would think that you wouldn't be able to get tickets. That's why I'm not do- to to Pappy and Harriet's or to. I don't know if Pappy up. and Harriet uh, Belly Up one night is sold out, um, and or maybe both nights now. I don't know. I think those are sold out. Terrapin Crossroads sold out right away because it's really small. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know if Pappy and Harriet's is sold out. And by any chance, if any of you noobs do uh, acquire a ticket, stay in your lane. <laughs> <laughs> know your place. Know your place. That's all. Well, don't well, spill your drink on people. They don't like it. Don't talk to Andrea drink while and drug Jim is playing. Yes. Well, are you going to all of those shows? No, I'm not doing the Northern California ones. Okay, so just the Pappy and Harriet. I think we should the all go. For SoCal. And then at, they're the playing Red Rocks on july 12th which is why i'm not doing the week before also because i'm angry about the scheduling <laughs> the no day between santa cruz and solana beach because that's ridiculous <laughs> oh that you know there was something i wanted that's to ask a great you. place to see a show though <laughs> yeah. what 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 is your favorite like city or place or whatever to see them to mow go down to? mow down yeah mow favorite? down's the best mow down. yeah it's got to be mow down yeah. Definitely Modo. And it's always in the same spot. Yes. No. Uh, no. For two years, it was. Two wasn't. years, it had moved to a different location. Terrible location. Okay. So now it's back to being your favorite. <laughs> back yes. to the original. Okay. I mean, it's still, still Modown itself was my favorite place to be. Right. So. Do they have it at a, an actual venue? It's a or ski is it? resort. Oh, right on. It's called the uh, Snow Ridge Ski Area in Turin, New York. It's in the middle of nowhere. It's <laughs> just uh, like west of the Adirondack State Park. And this is the one concert that this place holds a year is mow down probably probably it yeah probably. i know they tried to do another festival for a couple of years and that didn't do so well so yeah it's tough to get people out there it's uh it's a good drive from anywhere <laughs> you know so one of, one of my big takeaways from here which i think is great is that you know anybody out there you know whatever band you like whatever genre it is support the band support Go to the shows, but even if you have an in with the band, buy the buy, merch, buy, buy the, the merch, buy the ticket, yeah. and uh, support it. I think that's it, to me, it's so awesome that you guys are doing what you're doing, you know, for the band and you know, supporting the live music. Because I, I love the yeah. music, I well, want I mean, the band right. to keep playing. You know? it's, it's like that with you know, if any of my friends have a great business and I, I appreciate yeah. and like what they do, I'm, I'm always going to support them. I'm kind of hesitating to ask this, but so if anybody was interested in even getting a hold of you is that something you would even be open to or you're just kind of like is there something you want to you know what, what do you like, mean like do you do social media <laughs> why, at all why do, do they you... want to contact me i'm saying you know for <laughs> yeah no no nah. okay good <laughs> i am at elwood's brewery on instagram and twitter hit me up if you want to yeah you go see chat. that's you know something talk don't about give out beer. my number yeah, without my permission beer music all day long there you, there go. you go i'm print- <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna print t-shirts and i'm going to the fonda that yeah. say, <clears throat> I have to try everything so I'll know what I what hate. What I hate. <laughs> cool. I'm getting them. 
You all guys right. all get them for free. Everybody <laughs> else, look for me. So, Merch. 20 so, bucks. So I have one last question. So uh, you'll be going to Mo's shows as long as they still are having shows. Oh, yes. Absolutely. Oh, yes. And I will always go to Mo Down. Like, if, if I could only go to one show a year, it would be Mo Down. Because I don't so want to miss that. that. number is going to continue to grow. So you're yeah. going to be in triple digits <laughs> and maybe one day quadruple digits. Yeah, if I, they ever played okay. that many shows. <laughs> like, I'll live that long. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if they ever played that many shows. And, I mean, potentially. Potentially, yeah. Until I can't or they don't, I will. I always joked that I was going to give up after 100. And <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but then they kept being good. It's so cool. it's totally guess, Mo's well, fault. Well, they started being <laughs> it's good. It's totally again. Mo's fault Mo's that we are <laughs> obsessed with them because they're just that good. Do they have they evolved? They yes. absolutely have absolutely. evolved. Um, their sound has definitely changed over the years. Um, and and that you know with that comes people that come and go. I mean, there's yeah. people that don't like what they do now that right. that loved them back in the late '90s. Because um, it's very different. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Gil. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Gil. Curmudgeonly old thing. <laughs> cool well we can be found online we can be found on social media the podcast tune up and jam we can be found on facebook instagram our email is podcast at tune up and so if anybody wants to come on the show you know uh spread the love of other uh bands other bands not to be competitive here with or hate, Mo, or hate. <laughs> 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 yeah hit us up and uh any uh any last words Thank um, you. Yeah. Uh, thanks for Andrea th- that you came in here. It was so, it's a lot of fun. It's always yeah, a lot of fun with Andrea. Really fun. This Elwood, thanks so much for coming in. Thanks for yeah, having me. Very nice to meet it's, you. It's rarely wow. fun with Elwood. Yeah. <laughs> it was a lot of fun with both of you. We got to see got each other more often. You know, yeah, please. In order to see Andrea anymore, we should keep, have to keep getting around a podcast. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're going we're to have to make a habit of and, this. And now I feel anybody talk, out there. Now, who's, now, now I'm not scared anymore. I'll talk about whatever. Yeah, right. Cool. There you go. So anybody out there who's only seen a band like four or five times, you're slacking. Come on now. Well, no, that's a, that's another support thing too, because people music. are like, yeah, "Oh, I've only music. seen Mo twenty times," and like, there's like they're embarrassed about it. Like, that's amazing. Yeah. You yeah. know, like yeah. the, even it's just a band that plays every Tuesday night at your local bar. Right. Just go yeah. see them, right? Because yeah. those guys need the money. Well, as musicians, we can definitely <laughs> concur with that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and shows please by come see us, please. <laughs> and I'm already looking for the next time you guys are back on. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Because this was awesome. For sure. This was awesome. Yeah. Thanks so much. All right, guys. Thanks. I love you guys. Bye. Bye.